our way to fight a shadow scale. And as our friend at the Dark Brotherhood told us, um, shadow scales are a pretty big deal in Argonian culture. I mean, any hatchling that's born, you know, under the sign of the shadow is automatically a shadow scale. And there are lots of powers and, and responsibilities that come with that. So I've always found that very interesting that they that they do that. And they work in the employment of uh, Dark Fathom Cave. Interesting. That they work in the employment of either the Kingdom of Argonia and Black Marsh, where they're from, or they, you know, they work for the Dark Brotherhood. So, kind of interesting. Now... Later on in this playthrough, we're going to talk more about the Hist. And the Hist are these special, like, trees that can communicate with each other that are basically deities or some form of intelligent life that the Argonians base pretty much their whole culture around. Um, they're very fascinating, and there's a lot to talk about there. But let's just say, you know, and I'll mention this hopefully if I remember later in the playthrough when we do a quest, a certain quest I have in mind that you'll notice that there are Argonians around, but not as many as you'd think in this part of the world. And that's uh, that's because of the impending crisis that's going to happen later in this game. They were all summoned back to Black Marsh by the Hist. Bogwater. Oh, is this him? Oh, well, there's a single Argonian out here at a campsite. We best proceed with caution. I guess I've been expecting you, assassin. Don't try to deny it. I can see it in your eyes. Your dark brotherhood through and through. Let me guess. It was Ochiva, right? No, wait. Uh, Tainava. Yes, he put you up to this, didn't he? Ochiva was always too busy to even be bothered. Well, you can kill me if you like. I'm afraid I won't make much of a challenge, though. The Argonian Royal Court already sent an agent to do the job. He failed, of course. His body's around here somewhere. But he got in a pretty good hit. If I don't get some rest, I'm probably dead anyway. So maybe I can appeal to your sense of goodwill, huh? <laughs> You let me live, and I'll tell you where I stashed my treasure. Is it a deal? Oh. So the question becomes, do we execute the traitor? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, Zakin is a man of his word, and we don't know much about this guy, and all we know is that we were set to kill him, so... Ha! I expected as much from a dark brotherhood lapdog. I may not survive this fight, but I'll not make it easy for you. Fair enough. Yeah! Cartel has been killed. I must now return to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Argonian heart and gold. He said they sent another. Oh, I obtained the Argonian's heart. All right, go back to the deal there. I'm just looking around to see if there's any locations close to us. This seems to be a ways, a ways out. No, okay. Fair enough. Well, in that case, we'll just uh, sneak up here and head back to the sanctuary. So good to see you. Is there anything? Ha! Ah, yes, that is an Argonian heart. Of that, I'm sure. You have slain Scartail. Well done. Please take these boots as payment for your services. They are called the Boots of Bloody Bounding, and carry a powerful enchantment. I'm sure you will find them most useful. Yeah, thank you. May you walk... Boots of Bloody Bounding. 
Now, but then we have a suit that takes up. Oh, okay. So something cool about these boots. There was a set of gear that was never implemented into the game called, I believe it was pit armor. Something like that it was supposed to be a light armor. And some of the models got finished and that's what these boots are. And apparently there's one other piece in the whole game. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but yeah, there's the boots. What do they give us? Fortify Acrobatics, five points. Fortify Blade, five points. Not bad at all. But neither of my current gear sets let me wear them with them. So, we'll keep them on hand, but for now, they've got to go away. Always in the shadow of cities. Oh. But, yeah, anyways, always found that very, uh, very interesting as well. Also, something that I read in between filming sessions about the guy who we bought the spells from in the Dark Brotherhood. So, something you need to know about him, that, that Khajiit, let's go ahead and equip our, we gotta go hunt a high elf in the Imperial City, and we gotta kill him indoors. Okay. Anyways, sorry, like I was saying, what I find uh, interesting that I read is that he has spells that are generally cheaper to cast than most hey, people, and his spells don't run on the same, like, rules that all the other mage merchants do. Did you know you can have I'm Mandel. I'm a lady of leisure. Ah. But I do some advanced training in security. Just a hobby, of course. Lockpick trainer, interesting. Uh, you know anything about uh, Falian? Falian? Falian, yes, I know who he is, but I'm really not in the habit of discussing such things with strangers. Ah, where are my manners? We'll see. Here's some gold. Oh, what a thoughtful gift. How about now? Thalian, you say? Why, yes, I know who he is. Rather distasteful fellow, actually. I believe he lives at the Tiber Septim Hotel. Ah. That's in the Talos Plaza district here in the Imperial City. I'd ask around there if I were you. Very good. Thank you very much. Farewell. Yeah, farewell indeed. The Talos Plaza district. Well, what a solid lead to start this thing off. Had to spend a little gold, but not too bad. Let's see here. Tiber Septim in, huh? Now, we gotta be careful we ask. I don't know if this can blow up in our face or not. We don't want that Greetings one guy coming in. The Tiber Septim Hotel is a nice place. Messing it's with not us. Cheap, though. Well met. Here's an elf. My name is Elrigail. I look after Thamriel. She's a little strange. Touched by the gods, they say. Fair enough. You know Fal Falian? Falian, you say? Why, yes, I know who. Talk to the... Oh, that's literally the same... Goodbye. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, hang on. A pleasure Did to... she say something different there at the end? Talk to the publican, Augusta Kalida. I'm ah. sure she can tell you more about him. Indicates I need to talk to someone. Just Wait. must mean I need to wait here. The publican. Hello. Welcome, friend, to the Tiber Septum Hotel. Oh. I am Augusta Alidia, your hostess. Of course, you're right here. Can you tell me a little bit about Falian? Falian? Oh, I know him all right. A waste of life, that one. He lives here, you know, with his sweetheart, a trainer. Oh, I'm glad I didn't ask what her. What that poor girl sees in him, I'll never know. A trainer pays for their room, their food, everything. She's quite wealthy, I believe. Hmm. Falian used to have money. Used to be quite a gentleman, too. But that was before he took a fancy to the... You know, the skooma. Ah. Uh. Now, Falian's hardly ever here. He's off using skooma or wandering the city looking for some, I imagine. He comes back every night to be with a trainer. But only for a few hours, I swear. That high elf is going to wind up dead if he keeps living like this. Oh, yeah, he definitely is. Thank you. He good you. prices for your old equipment. Goodbye. So there's his girlfriend. The Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Let's uh, quick save and ask her. Yes, good sir. How may I help you? Yeah, tell me about Falian. Falian? He... He's my sweet. My true love. But I don't know why I'm telling this to you. I mean, we hardly know each other and all. Okay. Well, uh, good... Good to know, thanks. Hmm. Oh, yes. Goodbye. That was a little weird. Maybe if yes, I... Good maybe if I butter her All up right. a little bit. See? That every little bit helps. Alien? 
please, I... I don't mean to get emotional, but... Oh. I feel I can trust you. Oh, yeah? I just don't know what to do about Phalian. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skuma. He was a fine young man once, but he's lost everything. His looks, his money, his self-respect. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for Skuma. And then he goes to Lorkmere's house for several hours. It's in the Elfin Gardens district. I think the house is deserted. That's why he goes there. So he can escape from life and do his skooma. Thank you for listening. You're a good friend. I just hope my sweet Phalian can clean himself up, or that awful skooma will be the death of him. Mm. That would be the best case scenario, I think, mm. for him. Hold on. Oh. Wow, thunderstorm. I don't know if I can remember seeing one of those in this uh, in this game. It's not anytime recently. Maybe we'll head over to that gentleman's house and uh, see if he's hanging out over there doing some drugs. Ah, uh, the door door lock is hard. Let me get us through this. like I made it in. Now where are you? His basement maybe? Lockmere's basement. Is there anything of interest down here? What the? Lockmere's dead. What on earth? So, Lockmere's dead. Interesting. So the guy's been doing- he's been going to his house because he killed him, maybe? He's using his house to hide out in? Yeah, look how unkept everything is. That's a little- it's a little odd, don't you think? Let's go into his private quarter, see if he's resting there, maybe? No, but this is- The Eastern Provinces. Disaster at INS. I don't see anything. Bone meal. This is really quite, quite messed up. This is like a total drug house. Let's hide up here. Can we? No. Maybe. Maybe if I wait a little bit, he'll show up. What does my quest journal say? When in doubt. Alone every day for several hours at Lockmere's house in the Elven Guards district. I could kill him there to avoid any witnesses. That's exactly where... Okay. Yeah, this would be better than killing him at the Tiber Septum Hotel. And no one will ever know. Will he be here at 1.55 in the morning? I think he's, it's got to be later in the day, doesn't it? She says she goes here for hours. Let's try, like... Seven or eight in the morning. How about that? Let's wait. We'll just keep waiting. There he is. Excuse me, sir. Hey! Hey! How... What are... Uh, what are you... Doing here? You're not my... Not my friend? What? You know? What? What, what do you... Want? Shh, hush now. It's time to sleep. Sleep? Uh, but, nah. No, I, I... I'm not tired. Not tired right now. I have lots of, you know, energy. The skooma. I can feel it in my veins. Ah! <clears throat> Easy enough. House key and gold. Thank you very much. He is dead, and I killed him in a secure location with no witnesses. Back to the sanctuary we go. Feels like I'm having to do that every ten minutes, but that's what we gotta do. The High Elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father, Sithis. 
and there were no witnesses to your handiwork. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Phillida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Excellent. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. Go now and rest, and may the Night Mother guard your dreams. What did we get for our bonus? Well, we got a bow. An enchanted bow, in fact, that's just as good as our black bow. But it has some enchantments. So let's go ahead and slot that. We'll use it. It's called Shadow Hunt. And it looks just pretty much almost identical to our, pretty much identical to our black bow. That's cool. Damage health on strike. Damage magic on strike. And then here's something interesting for all of you that might play Oblivion and you're playing without the unofficial uh, mod patches. Just know that in the base game, you'll see it has a turn on dead and a weakness to poison effect. Well, in the base game, they forgot to code how many seconds. So it's useless, right? Because it instantly wears off. It instantly applies and wears off at the same moment. So those normally in the base game are non-existent. They just don't work. They're there, but they don't have a duration. As you can see, the unofficial patches that I got, another reason why modding can be very, very helpful and improve your experience, is that now it's restored what the developers forgot to put in, which is the 15 seconds on strike. So now it will turn up the undead up to level 7, which isn't that high, but um, decent, and it makes them weak to poison for 15 seconds. Now, here's something interesting on the turn undead. So a lot of rewards in this game are scaled. So they have, if you go on the official, the, I always recommend going to the unofficial Elder Scrolls pages, which is UESP. Um, and what I like about UESP is that it will show you a graph for each weapon or item you're looking up. And it will show you brackets of between this level and this level, you'll get this much power out of the weapon if you complete the quest in that level. So what's interesting is that the if you're into magic in this game, you'll know that Turn Undead can be pretty useful at high levels uh, or it, you know has the potential to be useful because you can cast it on an undead and they'll run from you and then you can fight the other stuff or keep them away from you. The thing is, it usually only goes up, you'll see it has an up to level with the turn undead effect. This bow, it's theorized that this bow, if you get it at level, I can't remember, I'd have to look on the wiki again, maybe it's 30 plus. I mean, you got to get like the max level version of it, which is hard. But if you do, then what happens is it actually has a higher turn undead rating than any spell in the game, other than maybe something you could craft yourself. And what's cool is it's on an item. So you don't have to spend Magicka to do it. You just have to keep your bow charged. So if you're into the turn undead thing, if that turns you on, this may be a good option to, to wait and do Dark Brotherhood way later in your playthrough at twenty over level 25 uh, to ensure you can get one of the most powerful versions of the spell if you want the turn undead effect. But I think it's a great bow. We're going to use it. So let's get another contract. I have another contract when you're ready. One that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. All right, hit me with it. Far to the west, there lives a fierce warlord and his company of loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Yes, of course. Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide. Okay. But you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. Hmm. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. Very good. 
A little bit of espionage action going on now. Enter the Eliminator. Bad, uh, quest added. Bad medicine. So, bad medicine. We gotta sneak into a fort. Where did she say it was? Oh, I'm being crazy. Is it over by me? I don't know if I remember this quest. Like, at all. So that's... Kind of fun. There it is. Holy crap. Clear out there north of Crowhaven? Oh. Well, I know I said I'd never go back to Crowhaven a couple episodes ago or an episode or two ago. But I lied. Oh, I was like, of course I found this location. Sorry, it's not filled in. Go to Crowhaven, mount up, go north, see what we can find. And the enemies have respawned. Time to leave. Run! Come on, horse. And I'm very aware that this horse is not the fastest. Trust me, we're we're getting there. I have something in mind. We just have to keep pressing on with what we got right now. I'm trying to save up a lot of money for various things I want to do. So, we can't be seen by anyone. Hmm. And we can't attack anyone either. Not exactly the easiest contract, but I'm sure we'll manage. Is this a town here? What town is this? Oh, easy. Oh! Horse got hurt a little. Lord Drad's estate. Okay, well, I don't know who that is. Don't really care right now. Let's push on. This appears to possibly be the fort here. Okay, we'll leave our horse here. I'm going to do a hard save. Just in case. Let's give old... Well, we can't kill him, can we? Okay, well, didn't I buy some potions of invisibility? I did. 15 seconds on self, and I only got two of them. Okay, well, if we get in a pinch... We'll try to do it without them, but if we need, if there's a spot where we absolutely need to go stealth, we'll uh, we'll have to pop one of those. My sneak skill isn't like over the top the best, so. Right, quick save and let's go. I do not remember this quest like at all. Hopefully, I don't get spotted early on. I've successfully entered Fort Such. So I gotta locate Roderick's medicine and replace it with the bottle of poison medicine. Oh, you idiot. Lower the gate. We'll go through this side passage. Oh, lock picking. Dang it. Dang it. I'm just going to auto attempt. There we go. Burned a few lock picks, but that's okay. Hopefully there's not as many people patrolling this back area. I need to remember if I get into trouble. Oh, another average gate. Quick save. I need to remember that if I get into trouble, I got two invisibility potions, but I have to pop them before I'm seen. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. See, I do so good, and then I get down to the end, and I fumble. Come on. There we go. Security skill increased. I just had to force it. Sneak skill increased. I just don't know. Is the medicine sustaining Roderick's life, or just postponing his death? How can he survive for so long with a fever so high? Strong potion of healing. Okay. 
Potion healing, thank you. Here we go. I've taken Roderick's medicine. I must now put the bottle of poison medicine in its place. Right. Poison. Oh, it's probably under here because it's a quest item. Yes. The bottle of poison medicine has been placed in the cabinet and the real medicine removed. The next time Roderick is given treatment, he will die. I must now return to the sanctuary and speak with Ochiba. There he is. Rest in peace, old man. So, so far we haven't had to do anything too heinous. I mean, not like that orc that told us he killed a five-year-old Nord girl. Like, what the... What the frick was that all about, you know what I mean? Oh, shoot. A guard. What is she doing up here? Multiple guards. To hold perfectly still and hope the guy on my right doesn't see me and hope they don't see me. Don't see me. They're not packing torches, so. Go, 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 go. Forget the side rooms. I just want to get out of here. How's my sneak skill looking? 56? Ooh. Not bad. Time to leave. Zakin has word for you, I Ochiva. Am... Ah, so you infiltrated Fort Such, remained undetected, and replaced the medicine with the poison I provided. You are truly a master of shadow. Thank you. It pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well-earned bonus. Go now. Rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you are. Let's look at this clothing she gave me. Um, where is it? The Deceiver's Finery. Fortify personality, fortify speech craft. Wow, that's fancy. Huh. Looks like something a count would wear. Very nice. We'll keep rocking this, though. What's next? So, are you ready to mingle with the doomed house guests? The contract is waiting. Mingle with the doomed house guests? Oh, I think I know this quest. Yeah. Do you like parties? Yes. Because you've been invited to one. Yes. Of course, you'll be killing all the other guests. Oh. Are you ready to attend? Yes, I'm ready. Tell me more. Splendid. You need to go to the city of Skingrod, okay. to the large house known as Summit Mist Manor. There, you will meet up with five very unlucky guests. Okay. In order to receive your bonus, you must kill each guest secretly, one by one. If anyone sees you committing murder, the bonus is forfeit. The guests believe there is a chest of gold hidden in the house and have agreed to be locked inside until one of them finds it. In fact, the guests believe the key to the manor is inside the chest, and only by satisfying their greed will they be allowed to leave. Poor fools. There is, of course, no chest of gold. The guests will find no key. After you arrive, the doors will be locked behind you, as everyone expects. When all the guests lie dead, you will be free to leave. Now go. See the doorman at Summit Miss Manor. He will explain the rest. Have fun. Mm hmm Thank you. Go now, dear family member, and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold. Our new quest is called Who Done It? Summer Mi Summit Mist Manor. This is one of my favorite, and I think for the community too, this is definitely one of the favorite quests in the whole game. It's just so enjoyable. So we gotta go into Skingrad. Haven't been there yet. It's on the Gold Road. Beautiful place. Count's an interesting fellow. We might get to that later though. In fact, I'm sure we will later in the playthrough. 
I've always liked skin grad quite a bit. Oh, look. We're here. So the last guest finally arrives. I'll tell you what I told all the others. You go in, I lock the door. You don't come out until it's over. Okay. Now I'll tell you what I didn't tell everyone else. We have the same mother, you and I. Oh. And she wants you to have this. It's the key to the house. I guess someone else has already told you the other details. Kill all the guests, then leave, right? Well, you better get in there. Time to mingle. Huh. Thank you very much. Go, go, socialize. Talk to those fine people. And then plunge your knife into their throats when they ain't looking. 